Welcome to Laugh Kings NFL Picks and Best Bets Week 7 Edition. So, as always, guys, we're going to recap Week 6, see how we did. So, let's start off with the person who had the best record last week. It's me again. Finally, getting some consistency going. Uh, so, I actually finished 9-5 and five last week, which puts my overall record to 40 48 and 4. Best bets, 6 and 0. Oh, killing the best bets, killing it. But next, uh, if in week 6, next best record was JR. He went 8 and 6, which brings his total to 48, 40, and 4. Best bets, JR. With such a good record, 2 and 4. Oh. Wow. You lose some, right? <laughs> yeah. And um, Jace went last week six and eight. That six and eight, though, brought you to a tie overall with JR now. So you're at 48, 40, and four. Only thing that's better than JR, the best bet. Jace is at four and two. All right. So the tiebreaker at the end of the year is our best bet, right? If we yeah. have the same record. Yeah. Still like holding the, the lead. <laughs> yeah. I'm coming for you guys. I'm coming for I, you. Not the Diddy way, though. <laughs> not the Diddy way. Not the Diddy way. <laughs> no baby oil. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, week seven. Let's start with the Thursday. Let's get into it. We start the Thursday night game. So, it's the Denver Broncos going to New Orleans. Orleans uh, Broncos favored on the road at minus two and a half. Um, you know what? Home the Saints. I'm gonna take the Saints. You know Spencer Rattler looked pretty good. Um, didn't look bad, so I'm gonna give him a chance. Let's go with the Saints to cover uh, plus two and a half on uh, at home. I got the Broncos on this one. All right, I actually got the Saints at home as well. Right. Moving on to Sunday morning. So we are got the NFL International Series bright and early, 9.30 in the morning. We got the New England Patriots at Jacksonville Jaguars. Jaguars are the home team in, in London. Um, <clears throat> Jags are favored by five, minus five and a half. I'm going to take the Patriots. I liked what Drake May showed first start. He can build off of it. So I'm going to take the Patriots to cover plus 5.5. 5. I got the Jags on this one. London is, seems like they're always playing there. London is the home court advantage. So home field advantage in this one. So I got the Jags. Yeah, same. I got the Jags as well. Seems like, uh, you know, it's their home away from home. So yeah, I got the Jags at uh, minus five and a half. All right. Let's head to the disclaimer game, the team that we always <laughs> cheer for. So it's the Tennessee Titans at the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo mm. Bills, big favorite this week. They're minus nine at home. Buffalo's a tough place to play. Um, they just made a trade. So Amari Cooper is joining the Bills wide receiver core there. That should help. I don't think the Titans can pull this win off. I'm just, <laughs> just going to be honest. But I do think they should be able to keep it between nine. So if we win, great. If we don't, give me plus nine. I'll take the plus nine for the Titans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is what I've been contemplating back and forth. Is I have to choose the Titans. But on this bet, <laughs> Because I know it's a close race with JR. I got to be realistic on this one. <laughs> I love Titans. That's my team, but I got to take the Bills at home, man. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Well, hmm. Always remember, Jace, blood is thicker than water. <laughs> okay. that, one is, that one has money involved. <laughs> I hear you on that. Um, ah, oh, damn. This is a tough one, though. The Titans, I mean... It, uh, it's it's going to be a tough one for them. But but at the same time, I do think if there is one upset that they could pull... We say this every week. Be <laughs> because, and here's why. I think 
this will, number one, be a turning point. If they could pull off this upset against the Bills, this will be a turning point for the Titans season. Will Levis has been struggling. He's been making his Spider-Man thing, like all that stuff. But I do think, though, that they could pull off this upset. I hope so. I hope so. But I'm t- but yeah, I hope so. I hope so, too, because I'm picking them. <laughs> I'm willing to lose this bet if Titans can win. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? We do play the Bills close, so I'm hoping, you know, we don't have the same players now, but I'm hoping that trend continues and we cover the nine. All right, so Jay, uh, Jace is on the Bills, minus nine. JR and me, plus nine Titans. Disclaimer game, so take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the Dolphins at the Colts. So Tua is not back. Colts are at home. Colts are favored minus three and a half. Uh, Flacco is out. Not out, but Anthony Richardson is back in as the starter. Uh, They said as long as he's healthy to go. I think the Colts pulled this off. I I don't think the Dolphins are quite there yet. So let's go Colts minus three and a half. Yeah, I'm on Uncle Sammy's side. I got the Colts for this one. Yeah, I got the Colts as well. Uh, Since Tua is still out, I think there'll still be continued question marks around the Dolphins. So, yeah, at this point, yeah, I got to go with the Colts. Right. Nice game. We got a really nice one o'clock game here. It's the Detroit Lions at the Minnesota Vikings. We got the Vikings favored minus two and a half at home. Ooh, I just seen before we started recording this, the Texans traded running back Cam Akers to the Vikings. So that makes me feel like Aaron Jones is not going to be ready this week. So I'm going to go with the Detroit Lions. I think it'll be a shootout, but I think the Detroit Lions cover plus two and a half. That's where the Uncle Sammy. I think Vikings still being one of the undefeated teams out there, they're playing... They're playing good with the addition. I think they got it. Mm. Well, I actually think the Lions are going to take this one, and that will end the undefeated streak of the Vikings. It's it, By the way, this is probably like one of the <laughs> best matchups this season so far. Both are two of the top teams, so it's a good one. But I got the Lions coming out on top. They destroyed the Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> that was a beating. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going back and forth on that Lions game. I'm not too, I'm not too confident, but I'm sticking with the Lions because that gruesome injury for Aiden Hutchinson. I don't know if you guys seen it, the fibula tibula break. Yikes! Yeah. Mm. Disgusting. Um, what, and that's their best defensive player. But sticking with the Lions. Now we move to Cincinnati Bengals on the road against the Cleveland Browns. On the road, the Bengals are favored minus six and a half. Give me the Cincinnati Bengals to cover six and a half. Yeah, I'm glad they picked it up and won last week. Um, so I'm going to keep with the momentum with the Bengals. Mm, I actually got the Browns in this one. I mean, the season is going bad for the Browns. And so as well for the Bengals. But obviously they won last week. But I don't know. Something about the Browns. I think they're at rock bottom, but they can't be there that long. So I think they're going to come out against the Bengals. All right. Uh, Now we got another game that looks a little decent here, too. The Houston Texans are traveling to Green Bay, take on the Packers. Packers at home is favored by minus two and a half. I'm going to go with the Texans on the road. Texans seem to be getting their, their feet under them. So I think the Texans should pull it off plus two and a half. I always, I don't know why Packers always mess me up, but I, I like them and I hate them at the same time. They're one of the toughest divisions ever, but I think um, I got the Texans on this one. Hmm. All right. I also got the uh, Texans as well. They're looking good. They're looking strong. Um, and yeah, Stroud is having a pretty good season. So I, I, I got the Texans at this one. All right. Moving on. Seattle Seahawks at the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, the Battle of the Birds, I guess. <laughs> we got the Falcons at home, minus three. 
I'm gonna take the Falcons. They got some weapons like that's really turning it on. So three point favorite Seahawks is like hot and cold. I'll take the Falcons at home minus three. Yeah, I got the Falcons as well. Well, I got the Falcons as well. It's a clean sweep. <clears throat> Perfect. So let's head on to the Philadelphia Eagles uh, at the New York Giants. And Philly is on the road, and they're favored on the road at minus three. I think I just read the Giants left tackle might be out. That's big. So I'm going to go Philadelphia on the road, minus three. Totally agree, Philly, with this one. Yeah, Giants, uh, their season is <laughs> it's over. I don't know at this point, but <laughs> I got the Eagles with this one as well. Mm, clean sweep again. All right, the Carolina Panthers are traveling to the Washington Commanders, minus 7.5. Panthers are a little weird. They Sometimes they're in games, but Commanders, you know what? Can't go, go with the favorites. Minus 7.5, they should cover it. Let's go Commanders to cover minus 7.5 at home. Yeah, totally agreed with you. Got the Commanders on this one. Yeah, I got the, the commanders as well. All right. Clean sweep again. So let's try. Let's go with Las Vegas at the LA Rams. I don't feel convicted either way. The Rams, the favorite, minus seven. Seems like big for the Rams to be favored. Who They don't really strike me as doing too much either. So both teams know Devontae Adams traded to the New York Jets to join Aaron Rodgers. We'll talk about him later. I'll just go with the Rams minus seven. I don't have a feel for the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'll go with the Rams. I, I don't really know these teams well, but I, I, I'm sticking to the favorite. Rams. So. Yeah, I got the Rams as well. <clears throat> All right. We're, a lot of agreement here. Uh, let's see. Kansas City Chiefs at the San Francisco 49ers. This is an interesting, interesting game. San Francisco is at home, favored minus one and a half. I think I'm gonna take San Francisco to cover minus one and a half. I ain't going against the Chiefs, man. I got the Chiefs with plus one and a half on this one. <laughs> if you go back and watch our previous ones, I've always said it's hard to bet against the Chiefs and I'm going to be betting against the Chiefs here. <laughs> it, it's it's strange for them to be essentially the underdog in this instance. Um, but again, it's something something striking me to go to 49ers here. It's good money, man. Underdog yeah. Chiefs. Well, two on the 49ers, one on the Chiefs. Let's go to the New York Jets at the Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't know what Pittsburgh, I was hearing rumors that Wester Wilson might start the game and they just came off a win with Justin Fields. I don't know. Jets, Aaron Rodgers got Devontae Adams back and Aaron Rodgers started to look good. I think the Jets should have won that la the game last night. Um, it is what it is, but I'll go with the Jets. You know, they have a good defense. If they could just protect Aaron Rodgers a little bit so he could throw the ball, I think they'll be doing a lot better big big ask though to, to give him more time so yeah i'll take the jets on the road minus 1.5 but i think tj watts coming for aaron Rodgers with his pass rush stick with the jets i got the steelers on this one i don't know how they aren't favored in this one how how this, the season's been going for the jets but i think like their defense Russell Wilson, we say every week might start. He ain't playing. He ain't playing. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime soon. Oh, I got the Steelers for this one. Mm, all right. I actually got the uh, the Jets with this one, of course. Mr. Adams returns um, with Aaron Rodgers there. So that should be an interesting, uh, interesting uh, kind of duo there. Um, but with that being said, I do also think with the Steelers, uh, it could be a blessing and a curse because they have two pretty good quarterbacks and it seems like each week it's who is it Wilson is it Fields so I don't know if there's too much weaponry there that they just don't really know what to do with it um, and obviously Fields played last week and 
So with that being said, I got the Jets with this one. All right. Russell never played though, right? He never played. No. 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 This is the week. I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea. Uh, let's see. So move it to the Monday. Got two Monday night games. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> we got the first Monday night game is Baltimore Ravens at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Ravens are favored minus 3.5 on the road. <sighs> Tampa looks good sometimes. That's the thing. But so does Baltimore. So I'll go Baltimore to cover minus 3.5 on the road. This is the game I think I'm going with the Bucks, but I have a I have a gut feeling I might lose this one. But I do like the Bucks and how exactly Uncle Sam said they're they've been playing really good. So I Damn that, that combo with King Henry. That's that's crazy. But I got the Bucks on this one. Alright, and I also got the Bucks as well. Um I it, it's hard to bet against the Ravens when obviously you have, you know, Jackson and Henry. But I do think, though, the Bucks are a team that uh, are going to surprise a lot of people this year. And I think this is going to be a statement game for them. So I got the Bucks coming out on top. All right. And our final game, the L.A. Chargers at the Arizona Cardinals with, Ariz uh, with the Chargers, I should say, favored minus two and a half on the road. I'm going to take the Chargers minus two and a half. Total alignment with Uncle Sammy got the Chargers on this one. Well, I actually got the Cardinals. I like Murray a lot. I think he's he's definitely, he's one of my favorite QBs. So I, I got him uh, coming out on top of the Cardinals. Uh, all right. All right, there we have it. All of our picks are in for week seven. Only thing left for us to do is go with our best bet. Ah, I'm kind of torn on this one, but for this game, I'm going to head to the Philadelphia Eagles New York Giants game. And the Eagles on the road, favored minus three. I'm taking the Eagles minus three as my best bet. I was thinking about that one to be a best bet, but I switched it up last minute. Bills at home. I know we are biased on the Titans, <laughs> but I have total, total faith in Bills and what they added. I just think they got to do something at the quarterback. Like, I don't know what Titans is going to do this year. Um, they're going to be really messed up. I hope they win, but I'm being realistic, unfortunately, on this one. <laughs> I'm taking the Bills at home. With minus nine. So you're not hoping, yeah. they, you're hoping they get destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Oof. All right. Well, I actually got the Buccaneers as my best bet this week. It, look, it's they're on the road. It's going to be a tough matchup against um, the Ravens. And obviously, Lamar Jackson and um, Derrick Henry have proven and shown that this season that they're forced to be reckoned with. However, I think the Bucks are a team that are quite capable of basically competing with the best and um I, I i got them coming out on top and that's why they're my be best bet this week all right so there you have it folks week seven picks are in our best bets are in jace want to end it yeah thank you for watching week seven picks and best bets with the laugh kings check us out on all the social media platforms youtube tiktok instagram what else facebook at the laugh kings for all the audio heads, search The Last Kings on your podcast platforms. And also for anything and everything, go to direct.me slash Last Kings. And that's all with a Z or a Z. Thank you, folks. We'll see you next week.